All right. I'm gonna test it on stream. Instantly dropped 119 frames, but that's whatever. I'm gonna test the internet speed again while I'm streaming, see if it's any different. It went from 20 and it dropped down to zero and then it went to 10. Okay, it's very fluctuating because now it says 20.9 Mbps download and an 8.96 Mbps upload. It's being all kinds of funky. It's Zealander's fault. Uh. He's playing Fall Guys at the moment. He's not streaming himself, though, so I don't know. But, I mean, that's a huge jump for what I just said earlier. And I didn't change, like, anything. I just tested it twice. It just, like, fluctuates, it looks like. Yep, dropped a zero again. Now it's... Steady around 9 megabits per second. Yeah, okay, now it's around the same thing. I could probably turn my phone off, but I can't just tell my brother to stop like playing Fall Guys. Actually, my phone's not really connected to our internet. Still, I'm gonna turn this off. I don't think that'll help, but if it does, I don't know. Your phone shouldn't change anything. Okay. Even if it's connected to the same Wi-Fi. Alright, we need a better character for this. Is it better? Is it better? Eh, getting there. That's good. Kind of true. I did have just Twitch open on my phone. I don't know if that made any difference because I wasn't watching anything, but like the app itself was open. All right, I'm going to hope that I want to continue while it doesn't, hasn't done anything in like five minutes or two minutes I feel like this is just going to be something I have to deal with at the moment ah there it goes Because I would, I would much rather play this and finish a chapter at least before just calling it maybe halfway through. We don't even know who got, if anyone got murdered yet. Kyoko didn't seem to be murdered, but I don't know. Uh, I'm going to reapply the options. There we go. Another best character. But yeah, I'll look into it later. If if I notice that it's being a bit laggy. If I notice it's being a bit laggy, like 
right there. I will uh, stop talking and let it pass because it does seem to just fluctuate and stop. Um, it is going to be annoying. I am really sorry about it, but I also don't want to just say, hey, sorry, that's all the dang and rampa for today. I'm hoping it still, like, uploads just fine. Like, my VOD will be perfect. But I think that's all I can hope for. Try it. Stop when I can. Hope it's a Twitch thing that'll fix itself. Until then, here's Owie. Well, lots of stuff actually. I'm not sure I can really explain. Okay. Let's go meet up with everyone else and they can tell you all about it. Is everyone waiting somewhere else or something? That's right. Oh yeah, we all stayed up the whole night. The whole night? I lost the rock, paper, scissors, so I had to come get breakfast for everyone. Okay. Uh, when it comes to the... When it comes to, like, the pre-trial part, I'm gonna be just talking if you if you think you missed something like somebody's reacting to something that you didn't see happen just tell me and I'll explain what just happened uh, but up until the trial I'm just gonna keep playing like normal I am sorry about the drop frames but I don't know if there's anything I can do about it at this moment so you got here just in time come on help me carry it Okay, sure. <laughs> Excuse me. This is a good time for water. Everyone in the g everyone's in the gym. Hurry up, I'll meet you there. Why is everyone in the gym? The entire night? Now I'm afraid that guy is going to come out and start chasing me with a knife. And I'll have to run around the school trying to avoid him. Or her, I guess. If Kyoko's so sure it's a her. But everyone's in the gym, so let's meet him here. Any new motives? What was that on the ground? Huh? Oh, hey, Makoto. This is worse than being late for your wedding, the birth of your son, and your own funeral all at once. What? Jeez, to show up now like it's no big deal. You made us stay up all night while you slept like a baby in your bed. Besides Kyoko. And then I noticed. They formed a circle around... Something. As soon as I saw what that something was... What the... Um... The remains of Monokuma. Okay, um, not what I expected. What are you doing? What does it look like? We're dismantling it to see what makes it tick. Dismantling? But I mean, that's Monokuma you're messing with, right? Yeah, that's right. Y'all are so calm about this. Relax. There's no danger. You say that, but. Looks like it's been professionally disassembled. How is that possible? Tearing apart something like that isn't... Like that isn't dangerous? Uh, at least it's not Kyoko. Seriously, what are you thinking? How can you tear... How can you say tearing apart something like that isn't dangerous? Hey, come on. 
Well, I guess I'll handle this. I'll explain what's going on, Makoto, because that's how much I like you. Hmm. Byakuya found this little fella laying around, then we tore it apart. That doesn't ex <laughs> that doesn't explain anything. Just before we went to bed last night, I came to the gym to try to talk to Monokuma. I wanted to see if he had any information about Kyoko's disappearance. And I found him here, just like normal, however... When I found him, he was no more than a regular toy. He didn't react, didn't say a word. He wasn't moving at all? Hmm. I waited there until nighttime officially began, but still Monokuma laid there motionless. I gathered everyone up as quickly as possible so they could take a look. Even then, he still didn't make a move. So immediately, I immediately initiated the disassembly process. It was Master's stroke of genius, a chance to find out what m made Monokuma tick. Hmm. One thing we've discovered is that he's quite a sophisticated machine. It's leagues beyond any normal remote control toy. Who has enough free time to invest in something like that anyway? But besides that, what I'm wondering is, why did he stop moving all of a sudden? I thought maybe he'd malfunction, but we didn't find any cause as we were taking him apart. So if he didn't break down, and maybe something happened to his puppeteer, the mastermind, something unexpected. I can't imagine any other possibility. Something unexpected? <laughs> they were probably so scared of Master they ran away in terror. Or maybe they got sick or something? But Monokuma made his announcement this morning, right? Who was that, if not the Mastermind? Oh, I'm sure that's a recording. It's set to a timer and plays as necessary. That's true. He says the exact same thing every day, right? Hey guys, I don't think now's a good time for light conversation. I just found something. What is it? It's... It's what? A bomb. There's one installed in every Monokuma robot, I'm sure. A b bomb Just like the one that almost blew up Mondo. That's super bad. We need to get rid of it. Roger that. It appears the bomb has a motion sensor. Any sudden movements, I'm sure, it's sure to go off. The motion sensor? For serious? Uh, I'm starting to get all shaky. Get it together. You're a man, aren't you? Uh, I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Uh... You're so not fine. You're all ah, ah, ah. Oh, I probably should have mentioned, the motion sensor is off right now. <laughs> Jeez, don't scare me like that. <laughs> God, you're like the world's most spineless worm of the century. Just like all worms. Come on, the century's just getting started. Don't call the race already. Damn, he's got a point. Whatever, just hurry up and get the bomb down. Hanging onto it's not going to do anyone any good. Um, oh yeah, good call. Well? Okay, it's down. Everything's all good. That's a big fucking bomb! That was my main concern. <gasps> what did Kyoko do? Hey, Makoto? Huh? Hey. Don't hurt us. Did you hear a thing we just said? Huh? Mm -hmm. So that's no. What are you? Some kind of brain dead farm animal? Sorry. We were saying, since we're done dismantling Monokuma, what should we do now? Yeah. And we've decided to continue our offensive assault. It's all clear now. To try and uncover the Mastermind's true identity, we're going to break into the Headmaster's room. Really? Naturally. Since the Mastermind appears to have stopped all activity, now's our chance, wouldn't you agree? But if the Mastermind comes back while we're in there? If you're scared, you're welcome to stay here by yourself. Or go live in the chicken coop with all the other chickens. You could be chicken number six. This is a battle, a fight to the death between us and the Mastermind. We don't have time to deliberate. 
yeah, I mean, I don't want to have to kill each other or anyone else, but we have a chance now. So, what are you going to do? Are you going to run away, or are you going to fight? You're right, I'll go with you. Okay then, we're going to break into the Headmaster's room. Everything comes down to this moment. Anything can happen, so prepare yourselves. I'll follow you anywhere, Master, to all the ends of the Earth. Sakura, if you can hear me, lend me your strength. I can do this. I'm a man. I can do this. I've got the will of the entire universe by my side. We each found determination in our own ways, and when we were ready, we left the gym. Our target was a headmaster's room on the fourth floor of the school. Hey, Toko. Naturally, Master's the one to show such bravery. Just make sure you don't get in his way. It's like they're all, like, leading me to my doom. Sakura's gonna be watching over us, so we're definitely gonna find something to help us bring this to an end. Hmm. Finally reached the climax. So let's hurry up and finish it before the mastermind catches us all. Let's go. This is where we expose every last detail of the mastermind. Is everyone ready? locked, as expected. So what are you going to do? Isn't it obvious? We're going to tear this door off its hinges. Wait, but the rules say... I've seen that the Mastermind isn't watching us. We've seen that the Mastermind isn't watching us. Those don't matter anymore. But like Makoto said, if the Mastermind did show up while we were in there, so in other words... then we'll just have to finish our business before that can happen. Okay, sure, but... What? We've come this far. We can't back down now. We agreed this is what we have to do. So we have to do it. So beautiful. I mean... For serious? We don't have any choice. We're desperate. Let's do it. Let's rip this door down. This is a bad idea. How are we going to do that? This thing looks pretty sturdy. Hmm. We'll need something sturdy of our own. Oh, what about that one thing? in the tool shed. Oh, so oh yeah, the pickaxe. What do you mean, fuck Byakuya? Byakuya is like one of the best characters. He's a dickhead. But still, he like gets what's going on. I'm very glad he bowed out of this. Uh, he bowed out of the killing game. Now he's like our leader. We can't kill him. Monokuma might. He might have, like, a machine gun ready on the other side of the door. That could very well be exactly what we need. Hmm. Now then, Toko, what time is it? Well, when we left the gym, it was just before 9 o'clock, so it's probably 9 on the dot now. It's all clear now. Okay, go get the pickaxe, we'll be and be back here by 9.01. That's straight up unreasonable. I... by myself? Never. Surely you'd like to have your me time once in a while, right? Well, it's... If it's me and you time, Master, then yeah. Byakuya is a very well-written character. Like I, like I said, Byakuya is like an endgame character. He's the snooty rich kid. He's kind of a douche. But he knows more about what's going on, and he, like, knows... He kind of understands Monokuma's mindset. And that's a dangerous character. But he's had, like, a lot of growth. I really like that about Byakuya. He's actually probably my favorite one left alive. Take too long, and I'll erase your existence from my consciousness. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't say unacceptable like that. That took a rain off loud as a herd of rabid elephants. We're serious, though. Are we just gonna knock this door down? 
No problem is solved by running away. Find your stones and be a man. You can't move forward by always avoiding danger. If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. Hey. Waffle, with it being a new stream, has was able to contribute more to the dab challenge. Uh, um. Maybe, but uh, I'm still super stressed. I'm so tense I can hardly talk. I'm all flubberbus. Flubbus. No. Totally flabbag. Flabstiff. Fap sauce? <laughs> oh god, what? <laughs> Oh, man. I hate that I just read that out loud. 